Hey guys, Q here for chapter 11 of Uncharted Drake's Fortune on Brutal Difficulty. We're going to be using the ghost hair method, the corner firing method, the cover firing method, and the weapon exploit. Uh, if you don't know how to do any of those, go ahead and check out my hints, tips, and tricks video. 20, 21, 22. Alright, so we're going to start out this part. Uh, there's really not much to commentate here. Just uh, kind of watch what I'm doing. Uh, as soon as you open this door, we are going to just run down these stairs and hop off the edge. Yep. Burr. What a wonderful day for squat thrust. We're going to use our cornering method. Be careful of uh, a couple guys that are actually going to come at you here. Um, there we go. There's the one. And there's just two or three. can see there's one enemy up on the balcony uh, over there I'm about to get there we go using the M4 because of that accuracy I'm just gonna keep using the cornering method here there we go so basically what we're doing is uh you know, first thing we're doing, we're taking out the enemies that are coming at us. Uh, and then we're taking out the enemies from right to left. Um, you don't want to shoot, try and shoot an enemy that's on the left uh, before taking out a right one. Because then they'll probably flank you and just take you out. You know, you're exposing yourself to multiple enemies at a time. So, uh, and I'm looking around where the enemies are. I'm like, okay, so I got room. I'm going to take out this turret guy. I'm just going to shoot him in the leg with the M4. Use that accuracy. You know. There we go. And that's essentially all you need to do for this part. Um, once you kill all the enemies, I'm going to show you what to do then. Uh, go. So you want to be careful, there's a lot of hiding places here. Use your grenades, we have unlimited ammo, so take your time, use your grenades, whatever you have to do. Notice I'm using my cornering method, trying to make sure that I'm not trying to hit a guy further left. I'm trying to hit the furthest right guy uh, who's currently spawned. Yay, grenade worked. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm using my angles here. The reason I'm doing this, I'm using my angles to find out where the enemies are. You know, the fact that it's a third person. Um... Uh, really helps there we go So again, I'm just being very careful here. That's that's all it is. I'm like, well, I don't want to expose myself too far because I know there's an enemy still to the right of me. Uh, but I can't go out further to find him because of uh because of this guy on the left. So I took him out with a grenade, and so now I can find this enemy I know is over there. There he is. So I lured him out a little bit, and I'm like, yeah, come here, take my bullets. Take my bullet to the face. <clears throat> so uh, we're done with this area. Some uh, the next set of enemies is going to come down from up there, as well as this stairwell here. Um, now I think there might have been an enemy that uh, I 
he's just so well hidden that I don't see him right now. He's behind that pile in the middle. Uh, but when you're done with the enemies here, you're just going to run to the other side, to the stairs on the other side, and do the same exact thing. Um, now, I'm, I'm waiting to see. There should be enemies that are going to come at me. I heard an enemy. And I'm like, alright, so waiting for it, waiting for it. Waiting for it and going, wait a minute, what is going on? I only hear one enemy. I should hear more enemies than this. So I'm checking the, there's no one on the stairway. There's no one coming down from the balcony. There's only one enemy? What is going on? And so I, that's why I think I left, uh, I accidentally left him from the last wave. <clears throat> So I'm trying to find him. All right, now I can hear him slightly to the left of me, but I don't know how far to the left. Maybe he's up there. No, okay. Hmm. There he is, finally. Yeah, let's grenade this fucker. Did I do that right? Nope. Uh, well, you know, I got. Let's try another grenade. If I don't get this one, then I'll just freaking corner him. Either way, um, use the stairwell for cornering. Uh, you're going to see enemies drop down from that balcony across the way that we were st standing under. Uh, as well as coming down from the stairs that we were next to. Right there. And so some of them got down already. I'm going to see them run at me and therefore there's one running at me. So I'm getting ready. He's going to come at me and bail. When you're using the, the cover method... Uh, <clears throat> for enemies that are coming at you with a cornering method, um, make sure that uh, make sure that uh, you leave yourself some space to strafe left. Uh, that way, as soon as they round that pillar, you can still strafe left a little to keep that to keep that corner closed. I got, uh, got a little cocky there, and I reloaded too early and almost died. Uh, I think there's the same thing is going to happen on one of the later uh, next enemies as well. But I'm taking this opportunity to reload. Alright. So I'm looking around, I'm going, is that it? Is that it? All right, cool. We're good. Got the last one. I'm just gonna move on to the next area. You know, you know, for any of those enemies, you definitely don't want to spend time uh, on the uh, um, on the turret. We're going to go down and we're going to uh, pick up this, uh, uh, you know, cutscene. As soon as you start out, there's going to be an enemy on, uh, there's going to be an enemy on the stairwell. So make sure you have the weapons you want. Obviously, I'm going to get my M4 and then use the cornering method to take out the enemy coming down the stairwell. Using my cornering method, and bam, there we go. Now, uh, when you're coming up here and you're going to be taking out these enemies, be very careful about. Uh, <clears throat> be very careful about. Uh, um, there's there's three or four enemies. They won't really come at you. I think once an enemy came at me. I'm trying to throw a grenade to bounce off these walls and this pillar to take out the M79 guy who's right here. But essentially there's two on the stairwell, not your current stairwell, but the next set of stairs, um, as well as an M79 guy here. And you can see me, uh, you can see me, you know, trying to, uh, take him out, bouncing a grenade and such. Look out! 
So I'm just trying to make sure I got him. I'm trying to hit him with grenades. There we go. Got that top one. So, um, I thought I killed him. I didn't. I could have sworn that was his body laying there. Um, it wasn't. He was still alive. Almost died from it for bullshit reasons. Um, which if I'm going to die, it, I'd like it to be maybe something I did. I don't know. I just don't want to die. Either way, uh, so we're going to run across this bridge. It's going to be a cutscene, and then uh, I think it's the last, what, last three enemies in the chapter. Uh, well, we've got three minutes left. I'm trying to think. Three more enemies. Oh, no, no, three more enemies, and then one, two, three, four more as well <clears throat> before we get on to chapter 12, which is more. We're going to be using super slow-mo. I'm uh, making sure I get my M4 back. Uh, for the next set of enemies, there's two enemies. You don't want to use a stealth kill on them because although you can stealth kill the first guy, it really exposes you. And so you don't you don't want to be doing that. So uh, let's get uh, get our M4. All right, man. And we're gonna be uh, moving on to the next area. game ba 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 making sure I was on brutal difficulty didn't want to screw that up all right keep on rolling so take out that guy first don't use a stealth kill or anything because it just exposes you and then there's an enemy on the stairwell there <clears throat> uh, he's a little hard to get um, so you want to stay down here and try and get them. You don't want to expose yourself. Actually, I think there's two enemies on the stairwell. Uh, one higher stairwell, stairwell, one lower stairwell. But, uh, you can see I'm trying to take out that guy up there. And then, uh, guy here? No? Hmm. Well, either way, um, I took out that guy up there, and or I thought I did. <laughs> That's why you want to make sure you're not hearing any fire or anything. I think I had uh, music while I was recording this, so I could I I wasn't listening. There we go, freaking got him. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it's just the shotgun guy, and then the one enemy there. I just thought I got him and didn't. And now for this next area, this is right before we get on the jet ski. Uh, there's going to be one guy across the way right there, okay, and then there's going to be another guy uh, in this little room to our right, and you uh, you can try and throw a grenade or really just do the walk in and shoot before you even see him type of method, so I think I went with the grenade, and I think it worked, but notice I'm uh, essentially cornering him, uh, we're going to want to, or no, I'll see us checking maybe I could throw a grenade over or something, I'm like, yeah, that's not going to... That did not go where I wanted. Landed in the water. So I'm just essentially using the cornering method and... Oh, the grenade did get him. <laughs> so we're going to use the cornering method for these last two enemies. There we go. One, and then two. Sometimes they're behind the pillar. Uh, either way, we're on chapter 12, so stick around. This river ought to take us right up to the monastery. <laughs> 